Hi Taurus, I hope you're really well. I hope you had a great Christmas and a really good new year. Um, January 2016 already. Um, so let's get straight into this. Forgive me if I lose my voice during it because <coughs> I already feel a cough coming on. Um, if you would like a private reading, please click up on the link in the corner. There's loads of different prizes to choose from. Plus, this is just a general reading for all Tauruses. So check out your rising sign and your moon sign as well. Right, let's get straight into this. I'm going to move this card out of the way for a minute. We're starting off with the Hermit in your present position. So I think a lot of you have had a really busy Christmases, New Year's, probably seeing lots of family, all the rest of it. And the beginning of of New Year, some of you feel like you just wanna you wanna disappear, you want to go and sit on your own for a bit, you want to do you wanna go introspective, you wanna think about things, you wanna go through things, you want peace, you want quiet, you are trying to figure things out. Um, it may be that you're trying to for some of you you're, you're trying to figure out something about somebody else in your life trying to figure out where they're coming from or whether you're understanding them correctly and for others of you it's just because you've you've been so simply busy over this period that you you've you just want to step back now you want to arrest you want to put your feet up um, and there are things that you need to think about and you need to sort of go inwards on that and concentrate on that. Now your challenge card is the Seven of Cups. So for some of you, there is the challenge of trying to slow your brain down a little bit, trying not to think of so many things at once, having all these different things running through your brain. You cannot focus on any one thing in particular. It's like your, your, your head's trying to multitask. And when you've got that many thoughts to, to sort through, you don't get anywhere with them. It ends up as stagnation because you can't make your mind up about anything. So for those of you that are sort of withdrawing and wanting some quiet time on your own, try and quieten your mind down. That's going to be your challenge is just trying to focus in just on the things that you need to focus on, on the decisions that you need to make. So try and focus it down just to one or two things. Otherwise, you, you do, you sort of get stuck and, and stagnated. A lot of you, I feel, have had to, you, you have been busy up until um, Christmas, New Year, probably, probably even longer than that for some of you. And you've had to bring your inner strength out. You've had to have temperance. You've had to have patience. You've had to, you know, maybe you might have been spending time with family that you didn't want to spend time with that you know you only get together once a year and you've you've had to go through that and you maybe all the way through christmas or you know while all of this has been going on you've been thinking like the hermit saying i just want some time on my own i just want to be on my own i want to go inwards a little bit so you've had to bring your inner strength out and you've had to have patience and you've had to have a lot of inner balance as well over the festive period and over the new year period uh, maybe you've had to bite your tongue a few times just keep the peace maybe other people have been you know arguing or bickering or the kids have been getting out of hand over Christmas and that and you just feel you you've had to be quite strong so you've got to the point now I just you want to rest you really do want to rest and for a few of you you know, a lot of you will be going back to work soon. We've got the three of coins there, which is which is talking about going back. I think some of you might actually be glad to go back to work after the holidays. Not all of you will be not looking forward to going back. Or it could be that you're putting new plans in action in January. So you're putting work and effort into something that you love doing, that you want to do, that you've got a passion about using your skills and your talents and what you're good at and getting back into that in January and just but enjoying it enjoying the hard work that you're that you're putting into it so once you've had this little quiet time this little hermit time I think a few of you will sort of be going back to work and getting into things but for new plans that are coming through uh, for some of you, don't be signing contracts after the first week of January when Mercury retrograde. 
but for new things you'll be working on plans working on setting up things putting not putting the plans in action yet but laying the foundations and laying the the groundwork for something I can see some of you painting some of you are I can, it's very specific I can actually see you you're painting and it looks like you're painting the outside of something so whether you're painting the outside of a business or a shop or and this sign work going up as well so this is something that you've been planning for a while and it's you know it's something that may be your opening in January some of you I think this is quite specific to this is probably whittles down to a few of you and that but there is something going on like that for others of you it could be that you're thinking of just completely overhauling the house it's like right I'm redecorating I'm getting things sorted and putting things away after Christmas and I'm just giving it a, a lick of pain I'm renewing it for for the new year and and clearing and doing things like that so for for some of you I, that's quite specific and I feel like it's you others of you some of you are going to be glad to be going back to work you're going to be putting your efforts back into something you love doing and you like doing but whatever you work you put in in January is going to come out well for you it's sowing the seeds for for future rewards and it's very positive beginnings for um, a lot of you in January we've got the four of swords this is in your conscious position so quite a few of you have had um, for those of you who've not had bickering <laughs> over the Christmas period period there's been quite a lot of peace it's been nice and if you want peace in January you want harmony um, for some of you you're thinking of romance and, and beginnings like that some of you may have been some of you are moving in together and doing up a home together and you're thinking of that and some of you may be getting engaged or getting married or planning on getting married there's a lot of family celebrations possibly that happened or were announced over the Christmas Christmas period that are still still going on they're still sort of on your mind you're ready for some new adventures in January as well and there's there is definitely some you're wanting some rest and relaxation as well some of you um, maybe you're just trying to get in that little bit of time between New Year and going back to work and sort of going in on yourself and thinking about things but you've got to focus down your thoughts in order to do that because there's just so much going on in your head but you know that you've got to put down solid foundations in order to move forward a lot of you are raising your consciousness consciousnesses up a lot of you are going through the ascension process and raising yourself up raising your vibrations which is really really good you're looking at things from from a higher plane from a different perspective and you're learning to find the, the the happiness and the positive and the peace within yourself other than looking outside for it some of you have really looked forward to the holiday period you really needed it and some of you feel like you need a bit longer after it and some of you there's actually journeys going on for you during January so whether you're taking a belated belated holiday or something in January for some of you or there's a change in environment somehow for you especially the ones moving moving but it's going to bring about new experiences for those for those of you that this applies to and a lot of it in a piece as well I need to mention for some of you especially around the beginning of um January we've got the four of swords so for some of you it could be that maybe over the Christmas period you didn't or end of December you didn't feel all that well you were feeling a little bit under the weather or you were feeling overworked um, or it could be coming in 
um, just to, to go along with the, the Hermit, oh God, I can't get it out now, <laughs> just to go along with the Hermit cards saying, you know, you, before this starts, before this hard work starts and you're moving forward, you, you, you need a bit of a break, you do need a bit of a rest. Some of you might have had a short illness um, or it may come in in January, so make sure you're sleeping enough and resting enough and looking after yourself enough. Don't get too run down during January. For some of you, there may be the risk of of getting run down, even even if you're work, and if you're working really really hard during January. Don't get burnt out during January. For some of you, it could be that somebody around you has got a short illness, like they've just come. They're coming down with a really heavy cold or they're going in for minor surgery, something like that. But once you've had a rest, once you've put your feet up for a bit and gone internal, figured out the things that you need to figure out and focused your mind down to that, um, you will feel a lot better. You will start to feel a lot better and then you'll be able to, you'll be quite happily moving forward then and moving sort of back towards the work front and making new plans for January. I think you need a break at the beginning of the month if you can. Um, things are going to come in quite quickly. Things are going to come in quite quickly. Maybe some plans that you've made or things that you've put into, you've been waiting for. If anything's been in stagnation, if you've been waiting for anything, it's going to come through in January and it's going to come through, it's going to take, for some of you, it's going to take you by surprise. It's going to come around quite quickly. For some of you that thought January was going to be a bit boring and a bit quiet after after December and, and the celebrations and everything, no, it's, it's quite busy. Um, but it's progress and it's achievement and it's, it's success with these things coming in. But there are things things coming in that, that are going to come in fast and you're going to have to make some quick decisions. You're going to have to be clear of mind. You're going to have to have clarity. So you need, if you feel like you need a rest at the beginning, right at the beginning of the month, you need that, that rest in order because when things start, they will start. But they're coming about in, there's a lot of communication coming through with this card. De I don't know where delegation comes from, but delegation seems to, to come in. Delegating things to others, giving others things that they need to do. Delegating out either chores or work or something. Because it's something, for some... <laughs> For some of you, it's something that you all need to muck in on. It's all something that, you know, there's quite a few. It's not just you. There might be others involved or family involved or other co-workers involved where you all have to work together very quickly to do something, to get something done. But everything will run smoothly. It is coming around very fast, but it's coming around in a, in a good positive way. So it's actually, it's nothing to, to particularly worry about. We've got the seven of coins there so a lot of you know that the hard work that you've put in will come to fruition and things will come to come to harvest for you there's a lot of people around you as well sort of family and friends and that that also feel like good things are going to come through in january or come through this this year for you July seems to be important for some of you. I don't know if some of you have got engaged and you're planning on getting married in July. But July for some of you is important and for the ones of who know what I'm talking you'll know what I'm talking about. That'll resonate with, with those that know that July is important to you. Whatever you've put out work-wise or favour-wise or anything else with you, with friends, with family, it will be returned to you and the same with the people around you as well. 
It's like working together as a as, as a team. Material worries, I don't think there is that many material worries for you this month. You might be a bit short at the beginning of the month, like like most others, because of Christmas and everything, but um, not too bad. Get as much rest where you can during the month, even when things start to move quickly and swiftly and, and this change is coming in. If you can grab five minutes here and there, wherever you can, because... I think throughout the month actually there is this for some of you this you need to rest you need to rest and you're not going to get much chance to do that during January there's welcome changes in your financial position for some of you in January so that could be you finding a job this month or moving position moving into a different position moving into a different job but there is this financial reward coming in um for a lot of you this month and you've got quite you you are excited about january quite a few of you you know that there is going to be a lot of personal growth and especially as the month moves on that you're going to be very creative very creative um and the ones of you who are starting up something new or planning something new, you, you're going to get very excited about that during the month. Some of you, either you yourself or relatives around you, there is a birth this month or due this month and that's getting things excited as well for you. Could be a sister having another, you know, a baby or a friend, something like that. Baby's due this month. There's a lot of cooperation, there's a lot of teamwork this month and a lot of a lot of balance for you as well, which is really nice. And we're finishing off with sorry, I didn't turn that card around as I was talking about it. Don't worry if you think new beginnings are not coming in, or don't get worried about new changes that you think are coming in because they're going to work out for the best and they're going to be good. And we've got the eight of coins. So there is, there's a lot of industrious hard work going in to this month, but it's giving way for a brighter future. It's giving way for a certain, I, I think for a lot of you, a, a better 2016 than it was in 2015. So there's positive potential there. And you can see, a lot of you can see it on the horizon. And for those of you who can't see it yet, who have been a bit of a hermit and need a rest right at the beginning of the month, don't worry because the changes are coming in during the month and they'll come in quite quickly where suddenly you'll go from not doing that much to, oh my goodness, we've, I've got to work and we've got to get things together and there's a lot of movement going on, a lot of things coming in. That's why I say get little bits of rest where you can. Um, but it's a lot of positive things that are coming in. I can't see there isn't anything there that I can see which is negative apart from you've got too much going on in your head with the Seven of Cups and that is going to be your challenge this month is to, to calm those thoughts down and focus down to what it is you really want to do and which way you're moving forward. Don't let your scattered thoughts get in the way of the potential opportunities that are coming through for you and say just look out for either you or somebody around you who may it may be a little bit more than than rest it might be you know you're really run down you've got a cold or something it might be a short illness or a surgery or something or somebody around you but again they will come through that and and that's fine that's okay it's just um seasonal seasonal for for a few of you You've got so much ability to earn extra income or plant the seeds for and bring in a new harvest for extra income throughout January. It's really good. It's really there for you. For those... The 
the babies that are due in January. For those of you who've got family and friends around you who are due a baby, that's it's th there's going to be a lot of activity around there because it's coming a little bit earlier than than due date. So just watch out for that, especially if it's you. Get your bags packed early. <laughs> It's a lot, lot of accomplishment in, in January for you. It's a really good reading for you. Right, please like, share and subscribe. I love you loads. Thank you very, very much. And I will speak to you soon. Take care.